Ashes of Creation has been in development for over seven years now, having us impatiently wait for the next stage of testing with Alpha 2, and all waiting for the years to come that will finally bring us a release date for Ashes of Creation. Something that I have made very great, excellent, very pinpointed predictions on in the past, whether that be release dates or testing, but I think it's time to rein it back a notch because I am one day free of copium and what that means is i can now see clearly into the future of when i think ashes of creation is finally going to launch with the node showcase delayed well my dreams of alpha 2 this year which was definitely not just a dream has probably come to an end so if nodes aren't actually ready to be shown off yet then they probably aren't very playable unless intrepid really wanted to nail down some aesthetic to them or show how these systems actually work instead of giving us pre-placed nodes in the world or something like that but we don't really know why it was delayed other than they need a bit more time but with that being said alpha 2 we all know internal testing is going to start at the end of the year and then it's slowly going to lead into phoenix initiative braver worlds alpha 1 testers and finally alpha 2 testers but that doesn't mean that the alpha 2 testers get put in right at the start of alpha 2 because they could also be part of some pre alpha 2 nda testing that intrepid really wants to get these servers down before that starts so let's just say that realistically alpha 2 starts in spring of next year so like march April. Then that leads to the question of how long does Alpha 2 run for before we move into the Beta 1 and Beta 2 and launch. But Alpha 2 isn't going to start with naval content. It's not starting with the Summoner class. We aren't going to see half of the world map at start. So there is a lot of content that's going to need to be built and need to be tested before they get into the Beta section. And if they're doing this zone at a time, and from what we've seen, we've only seen the Riverlands in a year and a half. So based on that, it could be taken in a while to fill these zones with content or they just don't want to show us more of these zones so it leaves some sort of surprise when we finally get into alpha 2 but if it is taking them this long then there is a potential that alpha 2 could run for at least two years i really don't want it to run that long i only want it to run at a year at max but at the rate we were going i originally i expected naval content to be in alpha 2 at the beginning and when that was said that it's not going to be well that is a huge system that has a ton of different systems tied into it whether that be open world raiding or fishing deep sea fishing the mini games that tie into that all the exploration out there how the sieging of guild forts on the water is going to work because steven stated before that there is a guild castle on an island that can be sieged by ship and all of these other things that are going to take time to nail down and really probably need some extensive testing for the game before we get to that point of them being ready alpha 2 running for more than a year also creates the whole issue of of, well have we seen too much is it turning into a star citizen like game where the testing has been going on and on and on forever people have been hearing about ashes of creation forever at this point and there's no end in sight because that could be a big issue for the game this could be something that actually hurts the game as people get turned away to it towards other projects because the testing stage is too long so i'm going to say intrepid is not going to let that happen and hope that alpha 2 is only going to last about a year that way the veil isn't completely lifted on the game before people can actually step foot into it steven did say in the q a that they will pay attention to that sort of thing and they will redirect or reiterate on how they're testing and what they're focusing on testing if people seem like they're getting bored if testers seem like they're dropping off if there's a lot of people out there that just don't want to follow ashes anymore because it's been so long with no nda so that is something to keep in mind on but with all of this in mind i would like to believe that alpha 2 will run for from let's say March of 2024 to December, January of 2025. And at that point, that's when the betas kick off because Alpha 2 is gonna run persistently up through the betas. So at the end of Alpha 2, beta one starts, which is only supposed to last a few weeks. Then there's beta two, which again is a few weeks. And that puts us on the road for a fall of 2025 launch. Way off from my 2023 prediction that I did last year. But as time goes on, we can see a lot more of where this game is actually at there is still a long way to go with ashes of creation and, and that has been shown in a lot of different showcases they've done such as the freehold where we didn't see how the freeholds are actually built in the world we just saw the pre-placed ones the mage is really the first fleshed out class kit that we've actually seen leading into alpha 2 we're about to get the cleric and see the progress on the cleric with 18 abilities which will be another step in the
the right direction and if we're gonna see nodes at the end of august at this point then we still have the rogue to be shown we still have the bard to be shown they said they're gonna do a crafting stream before alpha 2 so we still have all the crafting systems to be shown and who knows what else it is that intrepid wants to show us so with that being said, if Alpha 2 runs for more than a year, if it runs for two years, if it runs for two and a half or three years, like I really hope it doesn't, then we are seeing a 2026, 2027 release date. So really, the release of Ashes of Creation is going to depend heavily on Alpha 2 and how well that testing goes, how engaged the testers are with Intrepid, how well the feedback's coming across, as long as there's no huge hiccups that delay Alpha 2 or delay systems being implemented into Alpha 2 and all of that. So it is really... Honestly, it's impossible to guess when Ashes of Creation is going to be released at this point. But regardless, we still have a long way to go before we can all get our hands on Ashes of Creation in its full version of the game. We're still holding out hope that Alpha 2 is going to start up testing at some point this year, even if that's pre-Alpha 2 testing. I'm not saying Alpha 2 is going to launch this year, but I still believe that some of us are going to get our hands on the game towards the October, November, December timeline. Only time will tell at this point, but let me know in the comments when you think Ashes of Creation is finally going to launch. If you're new to Ashes and you've yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump into the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Era. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.